Welcome back to Dome Speed Shop. Today you're going to see my first pretty brutal, brutal failure. Good example of one the world's telling you stop, get a tape measure, and you just ignore it and just keep going. And the first half of this video is plugged with audio quality issues that I didn't catch until way later. So, a lot of voiceover work in this video. Now, by no stretch of imagination, I'm not an expert in this, and this is all for your entertainment. Let me show you the wrong way how to install Badlands winch in an enclosed trailer using not the proper technique, no welding, and a real simple, quick and dirty bolt-in style. Will it work? Eh, let's find out. Now here's a winch we're using on this trailer today. It's a Badlands 2,500-pound ATV winch, ATV utility winch. Quick and easy, got wireless control, wire control, so easy even I can figure out how to use it. And we'll bolt it down using this anti-rattle U-bolt. We'll see how well that holds up. Is it proper? No. Normally you want to weld these in. Well, it'll play it into the bottom, but we're going to see how this fares. I also picked up some D-rings so the ratchet straps have something to bite into. Now, is this the proper way to do it? No, there's better ways to do this, but this is a quick and dirty version, and I'm doing it this way, so when I decide I don't want to use this trailer more, the winch comes right out, everything's Basically, it's set up to be disposable, the way I'm doing this. Um, this is not the permanent trailer for the Healy, and it's an easy way to do it. So, this way I'm going to go about it. Now, thanks to an old co-worker, I have some ramps lying around. I'm going to use these, opposed to the conventional ramps that you see on an enclosed trailer. Uh, but they're the best price, $3.99. There's a little welding, cutting, and... Uh, yeah, it'll be nice and sturdy enough for the hot rod. Did I mention they're sturdy? Man, are they heavy. My back has never been so unhappy. Now here, we're going to install the D-rings into the floor of the trailer using some star bit screws. Usually you want to put a plate underneath these when you do this to secure it a little better, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to let it ride with screws straight through the wood that's in the floor and hope it grabs hard. What you want to do, drill a uh, pilot hole through the wood first, but I'm not that smart, so I'm just going to struggle with this screw for the first five minutes. Count how many times it skips.
I walk into, tr into a trailer here. I'm pointing out roughly where the frame is underneath the floor. Then my bolt is winched down to. If you look at that front 2x4 to my foot, about where that frame member is. So we're going to drill two holes through it and mount it. Well, it was a hard fight. But I got the winch mounted in there. On the custom mount. The U-bolt uh, I showed pr previously earlier in the video. Um, I did not use. I actually went out and got a different one. So we'll mount the battery up here. The winch portion of this will be done. Now this winch came with the D hook. Sounds solid as I dropped it. You got the wire control. I'm not gonna take out the bag for now, I'll just hold on to it. And this guy, the fairer, fair field, fair faucet. You know what this is. I'll conveniently post, post this up here. So if I need it, I have it. I hope I don't need it. I hope the wireless remote just chooches along and works. But you know, you gotta plan for disaster. Especially when you deal with anything wired or really anything mechanical, marine. I don't know, all that stuff. I, I just plan on it breaking and have a plan B for when it happens. Now, I am not going to mount this very well right now. Because I really haven't gotten that far as thinking about how I'm doing this. But the plan is, if I had one, I'm going to bring the car up in, into here. And once it gets about where the trip, the winch is at, disconnect the winch. And me and my brother are going to push this up in here. Um, found the D-hook again. Um, we'll see how well that works out. I'm walking up to the trailer. I did acquire some ramps that I was going to modify, but the amount of work it was going to take to modify them yesterday just didn't fall in the plan. A lot of cutting, a lot of rewelding, and it was just going to be easier to find different ramps, which I borrowed from a neighbor. As you can tell, Austin Healy parts, but no Austin Healy. And I'll put, post some video that I used, that I took yesterday, of installing the 2500 Bad Lions winch from Harbor Freight in here. Actually, let me hop up in the trailer. Not step on any of the Healy metal. So you get your 2500 Bad Lions winch in here. I mounted up the battery I had. Some tools, some toolboxes in here. Had this thing all, excuse me, had this thing all ready to go yesterday, and yeah, I was feeling pretty confident. Uh, this trick, this winch actually pulled it up with no problem at all. Um, going back and forth trying to get the car in here, it didn't even break a sweat. It, I think it got lukewarm, if anything. And why no Austin Healy ask? Because clearly, I'm not good with a tape measure. So, I'll put some video right here. And that was about as far as the Healy got into the trailer. Um, apparently, the body was wider than the six-foot trailer that I picked up here. So... Yeah, whole thing was full bar. And what was really great is the trailer drove fine. All the lights worked great. Um, yeah, if this thing was about a foot wider, the Healy would be in here. So, um, definitely a hard fail for the channel. Um, but yeah, this thing just goes right back up on Marketplace. Um, 
pretty much lost interest fixing anything else on the thing, so it's probably going to get sold as is. Um, so, yeah, I think I might rattle can these fenders so these things clean up a little better. Because that does not look great. I was doing some test sprays yesterday with some semi gloss black. Yeah, it'll look better. So, with the other fender, I still got to do my wiring held up great yesterday. So, that's cool. I don't know if I'm going to fix that now. Pull that back and make it look right. I was going to, but I've, I've really lost interest. Um, anyways. So yeah, that fender, I'll rattle can that today and get this thing posted. So I mean, was it a fail? Yeah, for a lot of it. Um, but I did test and find out one thing, is that wench will pull the Healy with two front front flat tires without problem. Um, surprise, surprise me. Um, so yeah. Next trailer I get, we'll get the car here and hopefully start working on this thing again. See you next time, guys.